Hello, Sagittarius. Oh shit, the music's off. Two seconds. There we go. Okay. A little more appropriate, right? Right. This is your mid-July to August reading of this current year, Sag. Let's see what's going on with you. If I remember correctly, last time I... No, it is Shadows of Judgment for you guys. Your Shadow of Judgment was fucked up. Something was happening. And I thought my live stream was just skipping, so... That was awful. See what's going on with you, Sagittarius, for this time. Alright, we got Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um someone is like begging. Like, they need some shit, but it's like, they're asking for more than what this tree can produce. High Priestess got some secrets right here that might be coming out. She's the teller, fortune teller, describer, whatever, whatever color of them all. She gets downloaded straight from the Rixen universe. You might be a hot, trashy mess, Sag. Uh, as above, so below kind of thing right here. Same over here, too. It's like this person, when they give so little, they're actually giving more to this tree than what they're actually capable of giving. Even though it is very little and they have a lot, it's like takes a toll on them. You might be impatient, and that is something that, like, you're keeping to yourself until right now in your feelings and thoughts. Uh, oh, right, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Looking to have a good time. Um, so if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Don't go in on me. Don't drag me. Have some patience, after all. There you are, Sag. And here's a Queen of Pentacles right here. I'm trying to have a good time. Be patient with somebody who might not be the best spouse in the world, possibly an unfaithful spouse, and that might have you quite irate, uh, to say the least. But it's like you haven't come out and said that, actually. You're kind of hibernating with the hermit. Yeah. You still want to look in every now and then to make sure things are groovy, but, you know, it's just kind of like, eh, nah. Like, you went to a little skirmish and now you're just holding out. Let's see what comes up for you, Sag. I feel like you want to, like, interact with others, but it's like... You're ha more happy observing than you are actually engaging. Like, you want to be social, but you only want to be social with Fred, who's a dead fish and won't say anything back to you. And that causes you to engage too much. You just want to isolate a little bit. That's all. Get your mind right. So this person is giving so little to this other person who's asking for so much. Um, that's bestowing some information on the High Priestess right here. It has to come to some sort of decision about what she's waiting for. It's just like, what are you waiting for? I can't tell if this high priestess is the one in blue or the one in red, but it's like, it's like someone got some info from that scenario. Kind of like pulling a Pisces, seeing everything from a completely opposite perspective that still is true. With the Seven of Pentacles right here, where someone's kind of like, using alchemy or some sort of magic to produce more pentacles from this tree it's like a third party situation that led to the breakup between two people who just were not good for one another 
and there was a lot of unfairness. Possibly dealing with a Libra involved somewhere in here, but something did not go well. Could be legal. Could just be someone was being a mean ass, but bad karma was developed in this. High Priestess. I like this song sometimes. Let me see. High Priestess. Might have realized there were some bad judgment calls involved or deciding not to resurrect something previously dead. That's why you got Fred the Dead Fish. Um, Want to let your guard down a little bit, but you might be super paranoid at the same time. When it comes to making offers towards this hermit fish person. Not in the Lovecraftian way. Okay. So, Queen of Wands, Sagittarius. We got you feeling pretty upset, like, total bitch mode right now. Like, I want what I want and I want it now. No, now is in last month, not now is in yesterday. That took too fucking long, you know? Um, you're ready to bounce, but you just haven't done so yet. Like, it's just like, you're getting impatient and being like, I'll leave if I don't get this now. I'm gonna hold my breath. And someone was like, all right, go ahead, hold your breath. And so you held your breath, and then, like, you woke up in your bed. I've been doing this every day for, like, the past year. <laughs> you've also found that you've time traveled. No, just kidding on that part. But, yeah, it's like... It's making you impatient. You almost want to be like, I'm leaving, but you never actually leave. You don't want to feel left out in the cold because you know if that happens, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be like you're going to be left out on your own. But it'd probably be better if you were. Um, actually, yeah, it's like the fact that you aren't leaving is what's leaving you a bit disenfranchised because you got somebody who's a liability stuck to you, too. You do much better on your own, it seems like. Three of Cups, wanting to have a good time, probably associates, friends, family, all celebrating together, getting a little bit drunk, boom, there's a tower in my room. Moment of truth came in, illusions came down, right? That if someone wasn't offering their love, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, so this whole like waiting scenario thing, which is what the High Priestess was using to figure out her decisions when it came to this waiting period, you know. Something about how this give and take thing went down caused someone to actually sit here and look at it with the High Priestess and be like, hmm. Maybe I've had my guard up too much and I do need to start giving. Not just talk to this one dude who's a fish who's been dead, you know. Um, I can't keep talking to dead fish. I'm starting to lose my ability to socialize. You know, just a tad. But you still got, like, some words to fucking say. It's just like, mmm, I am so pissed off right now, still. I just thought about this, and now I'm pissed off all over again like it's the first fucking day. Congratulations. Thanks for reminding me. It's like this moment of truth, just like... There was no love and no real comfort in realizing that, like, the people who were surrounding you that made you happy... Um, stuck around for any right reasons other than their own. And it might make you feel like you gotta go and, like, talk shit to these bitches. You gotta go impulsively without any passion towards them, despite the fact y'all had good times. And just be like, you know what I think is funny, you know? And this is also from the High Priestess looking over a decision when it comes to waiting. Thinking back on when, like, someone wasn't fair to her. Like, there was more to know and more to get, but that's all she fucking knows. So it's like she's going off her intuition on based on that point. Then we got you right here, Sagittarius. Temperance, you are pouring graciously, calmly, patiently into that cup. And I think it's because no one's fucking bothering. Oh, did they get the car started? Good. Okay, so they were worried for a minute. But yes, look at you, getting all your temperance out. Look, you're finally getting yourself situated once you get your patience, right? Like, you're still a little bit young, around, green around the ears, but you're, you're starting to suit yourself just fine as queen. Might be dealing with the Scorpio. You might be coming in to murder things, cause things to end so the new can begin. It's like, this is my royal rule. Destroy all redheads so they cannot eat souls, you know, like weird shit like that. 
they like you know you kind of go it off on your own intuition like mind you you're still green around the ears but you have the idea you know you understand that um some things have to go you might be a little bit quick <laughs> you might be a little bit quick with um what you kill off but you're doing it for the right reasons because you are examining what it is and why you can only talk to a dude named fred the fish well dead the fish because <laughs> he's dead yes and then you're gonna use this to bring new love to you okay that is so much better than your shadow of judgment sag because like yours just made me totally like terrified like absolutely fucking terrified you know like it was awkward queen of pentacles reverse she's got a lot of shit to share nobody cares so she's become quite bitter unfair uncaring inconsiderate um could also be an overbearing mother or an unfaithful spouse looking over at you while you're pissed off queen of wands reverse this person's in a pretty bad headspace I feel like she shows off for attention, and when people don't give it to her, that's when she becomes really mean. She's insecure as well. She feels like she doesn't have a foundation, and that's what's... I think that's what's really driving her problem. Like, she doesn't feel like she doesn't know where her foundation lies. And that's leaving her in a, in a trap place. Like, I, there's, like, there's nobody I can trust or anything. And... I guess she doesn't think very highly of you right now. Because there's temperance reverse, there's using you again. Um, she might be looking at you as the one being impatient, the one being unfair, the one who isn't like trying to mesh each other together, but she might not realize she's coming off the wrong way either. But she, it, that might be because of her own hurt feelings. That's really up to you to interpret. But yeah, it's Edge. Um, this is your reading. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to like, share and subscribe well that's up to you no pressure i won't be taking personal readings until after the 10th but as soon as i start doing that again i will let you guys know i promise all right i love you guys bye bye ah <laughs>